Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we work on this Dixon Speed ZTR. It's a 54 inch cut. Person brought it in because it's not cutting right and it's not running right. So we're going to do some checking on it, see if we can't get it figured out and get it fixed so they can go back out and cutting. So hope you enjoy the video. I can see why it's not cutting right. A couple of the blades are bent and there's absolutely no sharp, sharp edge on them. So I'll go ahead and pop them off, put some new blades on there. And on these here, it's a 5 8 bolt. Then they got these stars on them, so make sure they fit on them stars on them hubs and make sure these lifts are up in the deck you don't want to put up upside down this one here is really dry so i'm gonna spray a little bit of lubricant on the on the bowl here so we put it in so it don't rust up and seize okay now i'm gonna lower it down and Grease the hubs and check everything out. Make sure the belt is tight and everything. But I think we solved the, the cutting problem. Then one of your blades, see where it's starting to break away there? That's a good time to replace these because these tips can fly off and do a lot of damage. So we'll go ahead and lower it down a little bit and check the top of the deck. So want to make sure the belt's nice and tight. All the idler pulleys are spinning right and aligned right. Then they got zerks on top of these blade hubs here. On all three of these, they got these grease zerks right here. We're gonna go ahead and grease them up really good. Then they get to the center one. We'll take this. Take this plate off and we can get to the center one here and then we can clean all this excess grass out of here and just make sure stuff ain't bent up under there. We'll grab the grease gun. Some nice grease in there on them bearings. And we'll go ahead and grease the front wheels. We'll go ahead and grease the front pivots and the wheels. So the grease comes out of the axles. It should be good to go there. Now we can go ahead and lower this down and we'll concentrate on the motor next. Okay, and the old drain plug here, it takes 11 sixteenths and a 13 16 just to take this cap off and that's pretty black oil so we're gonna go ahead and let that drain in the meantime while we're doing that we're gonna check the air filter you always gotta make sure your air filter is nice and clean and that's really dirty you could be losing losing horsepower on that you can see the Dirt even got the inside of it. So that could be a good possibility why it's losing power. I'm gonna blow that out real quick before I put a new one in there. And these small engines, you know, you keep the oil nice and clean, keep the air filters nice and clean, everything will last you a long, long time.
his basic maintenance and make them last years and years and years. So when you have a dirty air filter like that, it's almost like the choke's on. So we're just going to give it a brand new filter on there. I'm sure that's going to make a world of difference. And while we're letting that oil drain, I'm going to put a new fuel filter on it. I'm probably going to put new plugs in it too. There's a fuel filter right there. On these Briggs twin cylinders, I like using these OEM long inline filters. So I'll go ahead and turn the gas off. I'll hook the hose out of these clamps. I'll take back the clamps. And on these filters, they got a narrow on them. The arrow go, goes towards the way the fuel flows to the carburetor. And I was going to keep this up by the way till we change the oil filter. The oil filter is right down here too. That yellow thing down there. But I'll wait till we get the rest of the oil drained out of the crankcase. Okay, the oil is still draining, so we're going to change the plugs. I'd loosen and remove the bolts for this bagger bracket so we can get to the spark plugs over here that bracket in the way is almost impossible to get them plugs see how black they are that's probably from that air filter being so clogged up it's like it's choking itself out so always clean it clean or replace your air filter other than that the oil being really black like coal i think this thing's gonna run like a brand new motor again okay now we'll do the other side here You can tell they're running really, really rich. Get them nice and snug. Put the plug wire on until it snaps. And we'll go ahead and put this bolt back in. And I think that oil is about done draining, so we can go ahead and switch oil filter. Okay, it quit draining out of the hose, so we put the cap back on it. I'm going to go ahead and take off the filter, see how black that oil is. There's a little slot in the frame where the oil drips down, so I have a bucket under there, but still get a little oil. And where the oil filter goes on, make sure that's all nice and clean. Grab our new filter. You need to put them on hand tight. You don't need to rinse them down. We'll turn the fuel back on. And we'll hook this fuel line back in the clamps. Now we can add the oil to it. Okay, on these Briggs twin cylinder motors, they take a SAE 30 weight. Put some nice clean oil in there. It takes two quarts. That's with the filter. But the best thing to do is put like a quart and three fourths in it. Put the cap on and start up. Let it run for like about 20, 30 seconds till the oil filter gets full. Shut it off and recheck it. Like I said, when you're all said and done, it's like two quarts. Get some nice clean oil in there and we'll start up, see how it runs. It should be 100% improvement. Just the way that air filter, how dirty it was and how black the plugs were. Oh, we'll start up and see how it runs. Okay, we're going to start up. When they brought in here, it sounded like a 
Sound like a diesel tractor. It's running so rough. So let's see what it sounds like now. Well, that sounds so much better. Anyways, you know, proper maintenance on your small engines in the spring and the fall, and always clean out your air filter, replace it, and make sure your oil's nice and clean. And these this lawn equipment stuff will last you a long, long time. Anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You have a good afternoon. Bye.